Hey guys, Cam here from todaysiphone.com and I have the Spigen SGP Glass C Premium Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 5. It's $27.99, which is actually fantastic value for money when you consider what you're getting, which is a premium tempered glass screen protector, like I've just said. Um, it's completely transparent, it's got silicone adhesion, delicate touch, so it's not hard to, for your phone to pick up that you're actually touching it. Obviously it's real glass and it has an oleophobic coating to reduce fingerprint marks on your screen. Now before applying this I have cleaned my hands thoroughly. I have also cleaned the screen of my iPhone with a special screen wipe to try and reduce as much as possible the amount of dust and grime that there's going to be on there because if you do get any tiny bit of dust on there, it's going to get stuck underneath the screen protector. Um, in the box we have two sides, on that side all these bits kind of just fell out. You've got home screen buttons which I will not be using, I cannot stand these. Um, little Spigen card where you can register your product, it's got a unique serial number just on the bottom there. An alcohol wipe, I've just used my own of those. A squeegee to help protect to help put on your screen protector rather, and a microfiber cloth which is pretty standard when it comes to screen protectors. And in this little package is the screen protector itself. And you can see there, it's obviously a lot more substantial than your usual plastic screen film. Um, and you can see it's got the hole there for your home button and obviously for your speaker at the top. And that's pretty much it. So once, I'm going to apply this in a second, I'm just going to give my phone a quick wipe with this microfiber cloth and we can see how easy it is to apply. Now I will say this before I put it on, if you see bubbles to start with do not be put off, don't try and reapply it unless there's actual dust underneath there. If it's just an air bubble normally with the Spigen glass tea um, they will work themselves out within a couple of days so it's quite good that way. So I'm just going to remove this very slowly I'm just taking the film off. As I can see there's no dust on the underside, the adhesive side, so I should be good to go. I'm just going to line it up with the bottom of my phone. Um, see if I can get that on here. Now the thing with these, I've just stuck that on there and it should be okay. Now the thing is that you kind of press it in the middle and you can see it's just spreading its way around itself. But you can use the squeegee if you want to kind of work it work it a bit quicker. And you can work all the air bubbles out to varying degrees of success. And you'll see there is a plastic film on the top of the screen protector that you take off after you've done all this rubbing with a squeegee. Now I'm not sure if I'm following the exact directions, don't copy my style, please read the guide on how to do it, they have one on the site, you can actually check it out yourself and make sure that you put it on to their instructions because obviously they've designed it, they know how you're supposed to put this thing on better than I do. I'm just going to push these last bits out. And if I just take this off, okay, so a lot of those were just this thing, it's quite deceptive. So I'll just push the last lot of these air bubbles out, just on the side, and you should be left with quite a good finish. As I said earlier, um, a lot of these bubbles that you might see in the early stages should be completely gone in a couple of days, but I've pretty much got none in there now. You can see that's on there, you can barely tell, unless you turn the camera you can see there's a, there's obviously a thin bit of glass. And transparency wise, sensitivity is not affected at all. The only thing you will notice, and this is why they include the home button. Um, these home button protectors are in there. Oh, I played music. Great. Um, the reason these are in there is because now with this extra layer of glass on there, your home button is obviously going to be a lot more recessed. Is my camera going to focus? Not likely. I need a new one. So you feel in there, you can feel it's obviously a lot further down, so pressing it is a tiny bit more effort. But I'd rather put up with that than try and stick one of these on because 
they leave a right mess when you try and take them off again. Uh, but that's the Spigen screen protector, it's glass T. Um, I've been a big fan of them in the past for the iPhone 4 and the iPad. Um, so I'm going to give it a try, I'll review it again later, probably a written review with some decent images um, once the adhesive has settled down a tiny bit. Um, but if you want to ask me any questions in the meantime about this, please feel free. I'm at TIP underscore cam on Twitter. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page and our Google Plus page, which has both got links in the description box down below. Uh, and I've been Cam. I will see you again soon. Ciao.